I'm Terry Kaufman, and I want to give you a couple of tips for your marketing if what you sell is expensive. So if you sell a service that's a high ticket item, your marketing needs to work a little differently from somebody who sells a low cost thing or commodity type of thing. So ask yourself this first. Is what I do, the, the service that we offer, is it a need-based service or a want-based service? In other words, am I selling something that people have to have or am I selling something that's maybe considered optional? It's a luxury or something that people want to buy. So now, let's say you got some marketing, you put it out there and it actually reaches your target audience. That's a pretty good start, right? Well, statistically speaking, if you reach your target audience at any given point in time, only a pretty small percentage of them are actively in the market for what you buy. A majority of them weren't necessarily looking to buy it, although they might be persuaded, or maybe just the timing's not right, right? A majority of the, the people who see your marketing, though, fall into one of those second two categories. So now let's say you sell, for example, a want-based service, something that people want, but they don't have to have. Put yourself in the shoes of your consumer by thinking about the last time you made a want-based decision of a high-priced item that you weren't necessarily planning to buy. What got you there? You know, how many times were you exposed to the marketing message before you actually made the purchase? How many conversations did you have with the salesperson? What level of research did you do? How many touches did it take? Right? When you sell a high price service, it often takes 12 to 15, sometimes even several dozen touches in order to make the sale. So you know, think about it this way. Let's say that what you sell is worth $10,000, whether that's all up front or over some period of time. You have to build a relationship that's worth $10,000 before you can expect a $10,000 sale. So this is where it makes the marketing a little bit easier. Take a little bit of pressure off on the marketing because all your marketing needs to do is to get your prospect to take the next step in your buying decision. Your marketing is not meant to sell your high price service for you. It just needs to get engagement, right? Not just at that first 10% who already know they wanna buy, but at that 60 to 80% who might be persuaded or who will be uh, ready at some point in the future. So the key to this is having a call to action that is low risk, that makes it really, really easy for people to take that just gets them to somehow communicate with you and lets you collect their contact information. So you've got, after that, you know, you've got an opportunity, you can stay in touch, you can build a relationship, you can sell your value so that when the timing is right, you're the obvious choice. So for example, calls to action, um, that, that offer free information are really great. Uh, tips, downloads, ebooks, etc. Um, I had a client who created a job aid um, because her target audience is corporate trainers. So she created this little free download to help corporate trainers to get more productivity out of their current employees. So it's a simple PDF download that they could read and get a couple ideas on how to improve productivity within their corporation based on personality type. Now, now she has her contact information. She can stay in touch with them. She can invite them to training programs, to uh, paid certifications, to webinars, right? But she showed her value up front. So now she has time. Now that she's got their contact information, she can build the relationship over time to get to the high price sell. So what can you offer that's valuable? That makes people say, oh, I'd be interested in that. Kind of to raise their hand and engage with you just a little bit, even if they're not ready to buy anything right now make it as easy as possible for them to just engage with you. One thing that you might want to avoid or use selectively is perhaps a free consultation. A lot of high priced service-based businesses offer that. It's a very common offer. No doubt it has value, no doubt, right? And the 10% who are already ready to buy, they get that value, right? And they're happy to take you up on it. But to the other 60 to 80% who aren't already ready to make a purchase, there's no way they're gonna sign themselves up for it if they're not ready yet. It's kind of like throwing themselves head first into a sales pitch for a decision that they're not sure they're prepared to make. Plus they don't wanna be rude and take a bunch of your time if they don't know if they're ready to make a buying decision. So it's not that it's not a good offer, it's just that it's a little bit riskier and it doesn't reach the majority of the target audience. It only reaches the hot buyers. So it's a little too premature um, for of the other you know, 60 to 80% to be ready to take that kind of step. So think low risk, think super easy engagement, think high value, because remember this, this is the key. The only purpose of it is to gather their contact information so you can start to build a relationship so that when they're ready to buy, you can sell your high price service at a premium because they'll already know you, like you, trust you, and understand your value. 
So do me a favor, I'd love to hear what you like most out of this video. Um, or if you have used one of these tips before, uh, leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks, have a great day.